channel if you're new here please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get alerted when i do post i wanted to touch on something that i get asked a lot about a lot of people are always asking me how do i get rid of my stomach i recently made a blog post on my website um I, it's called the science if you get a chance please go check that out at ellieficlub.net and I basically linked a doctor that I really enjoy um, watching his videos because of a lot of what he talks about um, I understand and I'm not a doctor but I am I want to say respectfully a nerd um, once I get uh, interest in something, I research the hell out of it. I start thinking of ways to incorporate it, um, especially with um, my business as a, a personal trainer. So I've been doing a lot of research on nutrition. And um, like I said, the video is in regards to stomach fat. You can also check out my playlist, it's health and fitness, I believe. Um, I'll link it in the description box. Dr. Berg talks a lot about um, stomach fat, different body types, and nutrition, things of that nature. Um, he's a wonderful doctor, I feel. If, what brought me here is there have been so many myths as far as being a trainer. I got everything I was told about it basically through certifications and other people who are certified etc but being passionate about it allows me to go into the medical side of it and kind of using logic and experience of course and um, just understanding of certain things especially with the human body and how we really are like science we are science you know we are science so um, doctors are on the right path but they need to dig a little deeper and a lot of them don't dr. Berg does um, he does recommend certain things that I don't agree with. Um, for example, keto. I'm not a big fan of that diet, but I see where he's going with it. Um, and again, these are things I urge you to go and look at yourself. I just wanted to touch on the surface. One of the things that he discussed, um, well, he discusses often is about insulin resistance. A lot of people have insulin resistance and they don't know. So um, I urge you to look into it. Insulin resistance is something that can affect you from having a flat stomach. That's one of the reasons why you may not get results. The different foods that you eat can cause you to have insulin resistance. The time of day that you consume certain types of food, um, like carbs, can cause insulin resistance. This in turn can affect you from having um, a flat stomach or you're not getting the results that you are wanting in addition to not being active or challenging your body enough when it comes to working out. Because a lot of people do like to do cardio. And cardio is a great form of exercise. Do not get me wrong. Cardio, when I mean, when I say cardio, I'm speaking in the terms of um, people who only go running or people who use the treadmill, um, things like that. It's a good way to burn calories, but it will not get you the body that you are wanting. And I understand that it, it's something that we've always been taught. So a lot of people are always reverting back to this form of exercise and you have to do a little bit more. And that can help you with um, reaching the goals that you require. I sometimes shy away from doing videos because of the overwhelming information out there. But many people who follow me don't get any information from anywhere else. So I try to give as much as I can. Or even if I don't give you um, detailed information, I am giving you a stepping stone to where you can go and look more into it for your specific needs. Um, when I mentioned Dr. Berg, um, one thing I also like about him is that he breaks down the difference in body types and why one size doesn't feel all when it comes to diets. Although I do recommend that people enjoy eating the foods that they normally eat, what I would say to make things very simple is to enjoy things in moderation. Um, I 
personally am on a meat-free diet, I'll say that. Um, I enjoy seafood, I still eat the seafood occasionally, but what I try to do is get more vegetables and more fruits. When you eliminate certain foods, it won't guarantee you success. Even though I don't agree with bad diets, um, I do believe that if you have a specific goal in mind for a certain time, I think that you should um, consider it for a certain time frame. Because things like that are not sustainable. They don't last long. It's honestly not really meant to. Um, like we're all human and we've all been introduced to things and once you've been introduced to some, something, it's kind of hard to just completely get away from it. The importance of being comfortable with yourself. Um, once you grasp the concept of you have to do certain things to get certain places, you'll get more serious about the steps that it's going to take to get there. So that's something that you want to consider when you're dealing with your diet and trying to get some results. One of the other things that people struggle with is not setting goals. You have to have a goal when it comes to where you want to be in fitness. I do recommend, I'll, I'll always recommend getting a trainer. I'll always recommend it. A trainer is a tool. When you hire a trainer, they provide you with Basically, they give you insight, they got certified for what they went to school for, the knowledge, and the time that it takes for them to learn everything and instill it in you. I know that when I eat a certain way, I feel a certain way. I know that when I work out, I feel a certain way. I know that when I get enough sleep, I feel a certain way. I know when I do things consistently that benefit my growth and my health, it turns out to be a great life and that's really a breakdown of working out for me it may not be that for everyone but you have to understand how that will tie into your success not only for your body but for your mind and even in your day-to-day -day life one of the other things that you want to consider is being comfortable with yourself if you're not comfortable with yourself then you will not get where you want to be, period. You won't get results. Your end goal is not righteous. <laughs> um, that's the only thing I could think of. Your end goal is not righteous. Your whole reason for wanting to do what you're doing is for vanity. It's not for being in better health. And don't get me wrong, who doesn't want to look good? But if that's your main focus, you're going to be impatient. And I just feel like your focus should be more about your health, not what you're going to look like. Because when you focus on that, the goal of looking good comes quicker. There's going to be a part two to this video, definitely. But... Um, I want to touch more on what you guys want to know, so let me know in the comments below.